What's up, Legion Beasts and my fellow Go High Level entrepreneurs. Hope you guys are crushing it. Got a really cool video for you today. We're going to be doing a uh, complete guide to email marketing inside of Go High Level. And I wanted to make this because I have uh, actually a lot of different tutorials on the email side of using Go High Level, but I wanted to bring it all into one video, one guide that, that you guys can follow. Because there's been a lot of updates with Go High Level, a lot of different things happening, you know. So I wanted to put it into one video, uh, make it as easy as possible for you. So I'm going to go over some things to protect your accounts, make sure you're getting to the inbox more frequently, and overall just talk about the type of strategy that I use in my email marketing to help uh, follow up with leads and eventually turn them into clients, customers, etc. You can do this for your own business or, you know, if you run a SaaS agency and you have clients as well, either way, this is going to be a good video. So make sure you stick to the end. And uh, as usual, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, check out all the links in the description. I always have really good additional training and free master classes. I'm going to have some affiliate links as well, guys. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, if you want to help support this content uh, in, in, in my channel, uh, make sure you go through my affiliate links for Go High Level and the other tools that we'll be talking about. Really appreciate it. All right, let's dive into this. So, step number one, I'm going to talk about using LC email. So, this is uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it is a new feature inside of Go High Level that makes it so much easier to get your email uh, actually up and running. So it used to be where you'd have to sign up for Mailgun or Send Blue or whatever, and you'd have to do all this, like all this stuff managing it. And it was kind of a pain, not to mention a lot more expensive. I mean, I was getting bills from, I mean, it's not, not crazy, but, you know, with my SaaS agency, you know, I was getting charged upwards of $200 a month uh, by Mailgun just based on the volume that we were sending with LC email. It's not the case because uh, you can rebill your SaaS clients as well, which I don't. So this is it's kind of a side note. Don't nickel and dime your clients, guys. If you're a, if, I mean, at least I don't recommend it. Like I'm not trying to make money on my clients sending emails and text messages. So I charge a little bit more just to cover processing, but I don't make any profit on the email. But my point is uh, like, I don't, use Mailgun anymore, other than uh, the, one of the other steps I'm going to talk about here in a minute, um, using an email warm-up service so that uh, it helps all of my clients' email addresses. But anyways, uh, LC email, I would highly recommend it uh, and, and use a dedicated domain. So I'm going to head over to Go High Level. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth between the slideshow and Go High Level for each step here. So let us um, let me show you uh, about LC email. And uh, I'll have some links down below, guys, for uh, more go high level tutorials on how to do these things. But with LC email, it's a pretty easy switch. And uh, like when you're in your sub account here, all you do, uh, so you go to settings and then under email services, uh, if you don't have uh, LC email already turned on, again, I'll have a link down below to another tutorial on that. But you're basically, uh, you just select a lead connector now. Uh, make sure you set up your forward settings like you know for like if someone replies to an email this is the email address that uh you would get the reply to as well but the domain service you want as lead connector and then right here you click on dedicated domain all right uh, add domain and you type in the domain usually what i do uh for my SaaS clients i'll put their business name dot and then i'll have the domain that i use for all of my clients email addresses so it'll be their business name dot business funding capital something whatever uh, dot com right and then you'll just put your name like or you know first name it'll be like team at business name dot domain name dot com like that's usually how I do it uh, there's a couple of different domain styles you can do but uh, I usually just use a subdomain so you'll you'll type that in you click add and verify and at that point you're just copy and pasting the DNS records into GoDaddy or Namecheap wherever you have your domain that you want to use for your emails, you're just going to do, you're going to follow the steps to uh, get those DNS records in there. So make sure you're using LC email guys. That's what I recommend anyways. It's going to save you so much time, pretty decent amount of money as well in the long run. And yeah, I love it. So definitely use LC email. All right. Step number two, verify all imported lists, guys. Anytime you are uploading or importing a list into Go High Level and you plan on doing email marketing, I strongly recommend you run them through a verification service. They've been really cracking down on this, like Mailgun, Twilio, et cetera, on uh, spam and stuff. And it's much easier to get your email ability uh, disabled than it was, you know, a few months ago. So they're really cracking down on this. And you don't really want to be sending out a bunch of emails to bad email addresses anyways. 
So I like a, a, a actually one of my clients referred me to this uh, email list to verify. I'll have a link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link. Please help support the channel. You're awesome. And uh, it's really cheap. Like uh, I think it's like four dollars to verify a thousand emails or something like that. And uh, it gets a little bit cheaper as you move up. But it's doesn't it doesn't cost a lot to verify your email list to make sure that when you're sending them, you can be confident that the majority of them are good email addresses and you're not going to get those hard bounces. So this is a great way to avoid the hard bounce uh, and because that's ultimately what leads to your account getting disabled. So make sure you're verifying your list and make sure so make sure you're sending good email addresses. And then kind of a side note on this, uh, I don't usually recommend go high level for like mass cold emailing. I know I'm sure there's tutorials out there like cold emailing, mass cold emailing is just not really a marketing strategy that I implement. I'm sure there's some tutorials out there that you can you can look into. But I like anytime I get a client that wants to do like a mass email blast, then um, I typically recommend using like G Suite or whatnot. So just keep that in mind. And then I, I guess actually one more thing that I would mention here uh, that I forgot to put is um, send your emails in drip mode. All right, so let me show you what I mean by that. So let's head over to go high level. Let's go to, uh, I should have some test contacts in here. Yeah, All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, let's say I wanna do an email blast to my list. Uh, I, I can add them to a workflow or I could just do a regular email blast right here. All right, we click okay to proceed. What I recommend is sending in drip mode. Don't send 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 emails all at once. You want to break it up over a certain period of time. Uh, at the very least, break it up over a couple of hours. Uh, I, I, the longer you start, you, you're sending emails, then the more you can kind of get away with as long as you're maintaining a good reputation. So you can kind of stair step your way up to the amount of emails you can send at one time. But especially if you're just getting started with something like LC email, then you want to break this up. Uh, I'll usually do a couple hundred an hour and just let that go throughout the day. And yeah, so that's usually how I do it. But uh, this is because like if these if the email providers like Gmail, Yahoo, et cetera, see that your address is sending out thousands and thousands of emails all at once, it, it can be a red flag, at least in my experience. So definitely use drip mode when you're sending your emails, guys. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's rock and roll. Move on to the next one here. Warm box for the sending domain. So I actually do still have my Mailgun account active. I just don't use it for all of my clients. I only use it so that I can use Warmbox. Okay, I'll have a tutorial down below on how to use this, but Warmbox is really cool. Uh, there's an affiliate link in the description too. It's really cheap and it basically uh, like a, is especially good if you're just getting started with your, uh, with your domain and you want to warm it up. It's a really good service for that because what it does is it imitates human behavior. It takes your domain, sends emails to their network of email addresses. And then when they, when those email addresses get your email, they open it, they click links, they mark it as not spam. They add it to contacts. They even reply to some of them, which are all really good trust signals to Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, Outlook, etc. So over the long run, it's a really powerful tool to use for your email marketing. Uh, definitely helps to get more of your emails in the inbox versus spam over time, assuming that you're following all these other practices as well. It's very cost effective. It does not cost a lot of money. It's definitely worth it. And you just set it and forget it. Like I haven't logged into my Warmbox account in probably like a couple of months now. I just let it do its thing. So <clears throat> definitely check out Warmbox, guys. I'll, again, I'll have some tutorials down below for more information on that. But use use something to warm up your email and main, help, you, help it maintain a good reputation. Something like Warmbox, great option to do that. All right. The from and sender email address. This is something that... Um, Sometimes uh, clients will will struggle with, uh, and it's it's easy to forget and and overlook. Okay, but you want to make sure that the the from or sender email address is the same exact email address that you have connected via LC email or whatever email provider you're using. Let me show you what I mean, because uh, otherwise this can be a big spam trigger for the email providers. So what I'm talking about here. So let me open up my my profile here. All right, let's say I want to send an email to this person, to myself. Uh, this right here, all right, where it says Matt Toysha Yahoo. Uh, the from email address, this needs to be your LC email or whatever email you have connected to go high level. Otherwise, I can almost guarantee you it will end up in spam. 
this is something that was taught to me by people at Mailgun because uh, I was trying to figure out what that why are these emails getting flagged and, and all this stuff. And it's because we weren't sending it from the, uh, the, the from and center email address didn't match the connected email address. So uh, anytime if you're going to do a manual, if you're going to send a manual email like this inside of go high level, make sure you grab your LC email, put that in here. Uh, one other way to automate this, especially with your automated email follow-up sequences, is to use custom values. This is going to save you so much time. Uh, so what I do here uh, for my uh, for my SaaS product is, uh, so if we go to settings, we go to custom values. All right, you'll see here where it says business email address. Um, I, I'll basically, I'll put mine, or if I'm doing this for my clients, I'll put their LC email inside of the value right here. And then I take this, uh, this custom value, we copy it and I'll, I'll just show you the, some of the follow-up emails that I have. So we'll go to marketing. Um, I, I like using email templates when I'm doing email marketing inside of go high level. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. I hope it's not lagging too bad. It looks like my video's off, but hopefully that's just the camera. Anyways, let's, uh, let's go into one of these emails. And so for every single email, whether you're using the, the, the builder templates, or you're, you're just typing out your emails right inside of the workflow builder, whatever it is, wherever that from email address is, uh, so we go to the three little dots here, we'll click on settings. You'll see here the from email I have as that custom value. And actually you don't even have to copy and paste it. You can just use the tag here, but the custom value will automatically insert your email address. So you don't have to update it every single time you want to do an email. You can literally just like, uh, I'll just, um, I'll copy or duplicate these templates and I'll change the text and maybe change the link or whatever, but the from name and the from email address always stays the same. So, uh, this, like I said, this can save you a lot of time, especially if let, let's say later on you want to change your sender email address instead of having to go into every single email that you have inside of go high level, you can just update the custom value. That's one update. It's all you have to do. And it changes it in all of your emails. It's freaking awesome. It's one of my favorite features inside of go high level. So make sure you're doing that guys. All right. So that, that will definitely help you get to the inbox more. If you're not doing that already, uh, let's see what's next D and D automations. So this is something that I recently put together inside of go high level for my SaaS product. Uh, cause I was getting a lot of, uh, the non-compliant activity emails about certain sub accounts and my clients were getting their email ability disabled. Um, it still happens occasionally. Uh, like this is not, uh, you know, it doesn't completely fix the, the, the issue, but having some type of D and D automation in place can protect your, uh, your account by making sure that the system doesn't continue to try to send emails to an email address that's doing a hard bounce. Cause if you keep doing that over and over, it's gonna compound over time, it's not good. So there's there's actually two ways to do this. So let's go back into go high level here. The first thing that you wanna do is go into settings and then under the business profile, you scroll down and you see these little, uh, these little boxes you can turn on. Make sure that right here, mark emails as invalid due to a hard bounce. All right, make sure that's turned on. And then just to cover my bases, what I like to do is put an automation in place. So we'll click on automation. Uh, let me see. Uh, I think it's, what did I call it? I think I called it D&D, &D. Uh, email bounce D&D. &D, all right. So we'll create a new workflow. The, the trigger, um, I have three triggers here. You really only need to have one, but again, I just like to cover my bases here. I have one for unsubscribe. So uh, it, the, the trigger itself is email events. And then the event is, uh, I have one for unsubscribed, complained, uh, or bounced and it says mailgun only, but it works for LC email as well. I already confirmed that. So, uh, that's the workflow trigger. Okay. And then all you do is you click the plus sign and then the action is going to be set D and uh, contact D and D. And then you're going to choose enable D and D for specific channels. And you're going to do email. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically turn on D and D, uh, so that you can still have those contacts. Like if it, if, if it's a hard bounce, you can still have the contacts in your go high level account, you know, maybe to do phone calls, text messages, whatever, but it's not going to, it's not going to send those emails to that email address anymore so that you don't run into the same, like you're, you're not getting that hard bounce every single time you send to them. It's just not going to send to them period. So click save action up here at the top, right? Click publish, save, you're good to go. 
So that's another important part of doing your email marketing and go high level. Makes a big difference. All right, let's talk about uh, a little bit of strategy here and then we'll wrap up. So I'm not going to dive into this too much, kind of give you like the 30,000 foot overview of how I do my emails. I have lots of training on my channel about email marketing. You check that out. But uh, just a, a quick overview. Um, I really like to send educational, relevant follow up content. So whatever it is that people are opting in for, I want to make sure that the emails that I'm sending over the long run are related to that particular topic. And I'm educating them about the different aspects of what my product and service solves. So whatever their main problem is, which is why they opted in in the first place, try and learn how to solve that problem. That's what you want to center uh, or cater all of your follow up emails to. All right. So um, otherwise, you're going to get a lot of people unsubscribing. So you want to stay relevant. I also have uh, the, the way I format my emails. Uh, this is why I use I like using the email template builder inside of Go High Level. I'll have the um, actually I'll just I'll show it to you here really quick. Um, Cause again, I'm, I'm, I incorporate a lot of custom values into my emails. That way, if I ever have to make changes uh, or like customize it for a client, it's really, really easy. I don't have to go into every single email and make the change. It's, it's just, uh, it's a game changer. So, all right, let's go back. Uh, we'll just go into one of these here. All right. So I do, I do all my emails pretty much the same. And it's going to be the logo custom value at the top right here. So it's blank in the builder. But if you were to get this email, it would insert my client's logo right here. So we click this. This is just an image element. And the image URL is that custom value for the logo image. Oop, one second. All right. Sorry about that. Cooking dinner in the background. Got the air fryer going. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I have the, the logo image here. And then whenever I insert my client's logo into this custom value, it automatically inserts it at the top of the email. Obviously that is really good for branding. Then I just have the, the regular copy here. And then down here at the bottom, I'll usually have some type of call to action to take, uh, take the next step in the funnel. So I'll have a button here. And uh, once again, the link URL I have as a custom value that links to whatever page I'm sending them to, right? Again, so that, that way, if I ever have to change that URL, I don't have to go into every single email and, and change this. I can just change the custom value and it changes that URL in every single email with this custom value. It's, it's amazing. All right. I, I like to spread my emails out. So I, I usually send like once a week, sometimes twice a week. I'll, I'll typically send a little bit more frequently in the beginning so that uh, people get used to my brand. Uh, but then I space it out uh, like once a week, kind of like newsletter style. That's just my preference, guys. Uh, you can do more than that. Uh, you can do less than that. I, well, I wouldn't recommend any less than that. That's This is kind of like the bare minimum. But I find that once a week uh, can can work really good too. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long, but I wanted to cover what I believe are the most important things to consider. Make sure you get set up and like different features inside of Go High Level to utilize for uh, maximum benefit when it comes to your email marketing. So you get better results. You get more emails to the inbox, et cetera. So overall, just help you set up your email marketing and go high level. So I hope that was helpful. I uh, would love to hear your feedback. Drop some comments down below. Or if there's something I missed and you want me to make another video covering something specific, then uh, let me know. Uh, of course, check out all of my go high level tutorials. Um, you can search on my channel for, for specific types of videos too, because I have lots of tutorials on, on this kind of stuff, especially go high level. So make sure you check that out. Hope you guys are crushing it. Talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out.